Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. And keep in mind, I'm live. Keep in mind that I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, let's see. Thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so the cards that I pulled off camera when I was shuffling and praying for you are to whom much is given, much will be required, period. So you've got a lot, you're going to have to give a lot. Now, that's not saying, you know, we don't necessarily have to make a beeline to money. Like, oh, you got a lot of money, you got to give a lot of money. Sometimes, yes. Not all the time. It could be that you have a lot of, you know, you know with all or yeah i don't know you have a, no, a lot of knowledge you have a lot of um charisma you have a lot of spunk you have a lot of um you know a very leadership type of uh take charge type of personality so people automatically want to put you in that uh role so too much uh whom is given much is required so um, you may always, you may say sometimes, why do people want to put me in there? Why do people want me to do that? Why do people look toward to me? Why do people call me? You know, it's because you have the capacity, you have the ability, you have, you know, what is um, going to get things done. So people are looking towards you or looking, you know, um, looking uh, for you to step in that role. You, then you have work gets rewarded do the work so some of you need to do some work some significant work it could be on yourself your home your your business your career um do some type of work spiritual work also so you can be rewarded work will be rewarded okay you've got also here that somebody does not take care of responsibilities children bills household tasks somebody's lazy altogether they just don't take care of responsibilities they do not respond with the ability of getting it done. You know, they res they respond not at all or just lack, lack, you know, lacks of days or whatever. Um, keep in mind, you might be dealing with somebody. Look, um, sorry, your money decreases when they are in your life. Take note. So when you're dealing with a specific group or set of people or one person, you might see that your abundance your money your ability to bring in um kind of either dwindles is stagnant or just decreases altogether it's a clear indication that there's blockage maybe when you are around when you hang around when you're with when you deal with you fill in the blank that person or those people you know um your energy is also is when I'm hearing your energy just de decreases. You kind of just get into a fog or a funk or maybe you might even get physically sick. Let's clarify your money decreases when they are in your life. Let's see. The full card. So if someone sees you as fun, fabulous, the one, you've got a lot going on for yourself. You follow your dreams. Even if other other people feel like they're pipe dreams, you do what you want. You you march to the rhythm of your own, you know, drum. You uh, aren't afraid, afraid to take calculated risk. Um, this could be somebody who's in and out of your life too. When they come back around, your money decreases because there's no ties to you. They may even come back in for an energetic pick-me-up, a boost. You know, you give them that. One more card for your, yeah, nine of pentacles. This person doesn't want any intimate ties to you or to anyone they they take this is a taker this is somebody who's they again they could be taking your energy taking your money taking something from you but something decreases you know while they increase so this could be a direct karmic relationship or you know ca yeah karmic relationship it just doesn't work because when they're in your life you, you know things wow this this flipped out of the deck things dwindle for you you go from the queen of pentacles to the five of pentacles you know, things become stagnant or stuck for you, you know, so um, keep that in mind. Um, also, they put you in a place of overthinking, nine of swords. They put you in a place of anxiety, worry, and maybe that's why your money decreases or your energy decreases or you just feel depleted. All right. So let's clarify. Um, doesn't take care of responsibilities. This person does not respond 
with the ability uh, that they have. All right, let's see. The three of swords. So it could be someone that you're divorced from or someone that you're not talking to. Or there's always miscommunication or misinterpretation of what you said or what they said. It could be someone, um, again, who's heartbroken. Uh, they, they, uh, they're always crying or they're depressed. There's somebody here who's just not taking care of their responsibilities because they're in a place of, um, you had depression or heartbreak. You had 10 of wands, like oppression. Their house could be nasty is what I'm hearing. Um, so they're oppressed. The Lord of oppression, 10 of wands. Um, they just keep waking up each and every day to be sad, to be filled with, um, a depressed spirit they don't know where they're going they have lost all hope they're on autopilot um scapegoat it's like they're making something a scapegoat they're not actually looking at their issue and dealing with it well, again they don't respond with the ability to take care of tasks children bills this is somebody who's actively letting things fall by the wayside for whatever reason yeah this is somebody who could be drinking heavily crying uh they don't want to deal with the issue they put it so they put the issues before them you see how this man is carrying these wands and it's before him so before they deal with themselves they deal with the issues if you come to them with any type of intervention they want to talk about all the issues when they really need to be talking about themselves how they need to do the work this could be you leo Someone needed to do the work, okay? Work gets rewarded. Do the work. Work gets rewarded. Let's see. The temperance card. Somebody could be a drinker, heavy drinker. All right, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You don't have to be. Um, temper yourself. Do as, as much as possible. Some of you are just doing enough. and You could be doing more. You're taking the middle ground. It says that if things are okay, they'll stay okay. If they're bad, they're going to stay bad. You have to do something to kind of upset the the norm or where things are you know you have to create magic here alchemy you know do the work so that you can see reward so that you can see increase let's see yeah page of pentacles some of you might even need to do some spell potion i don't know um, you might even need to just put more energy effort time be consistent with your work uh be proud of your work be proud of what you put out don't copy don't uh her copyright Okay, uh, be proud of your work. Don't copy. Be consistent. Um, be Do something at a healthy pace, okay? Because then you'll see that it, it gets rewarded. The reward is in knowing that you did your best, okay? To whom much is given, much is required. What is this about for Leo? To whom much is given, much is required. The Eight of Swords. All right, so sometimes you feel like, Okay, me being good puts me in a place of being stuck. The air of being good nature. So the air of being good nature. So if I'm if I be good to these people or this person, then I know I'm gonna get the short end of the stick. I'm not gonna get my money back. I'm gonna get burned. I'm gonna get stuck. I'm gonna they're gonna be the one that's always calling me. I don't want it. I don't need it. But it says to whom much is given, which is required. You can't think so negative like that. You got to think like, you know what? It is what it is. I want to set boundaries, firm boundaries about what I will do and what I won't do. I'm not going to get myself stuck. I know if I do get in anything, I can get out easily. Now let's see. What else? Yeah, the star card. People look up to you, to, especially in groups. The star card governs groups, uh, friend groups, uh, groups of people. People look up to your expertise, to your beauty, your fashion, uh, to what you bring to the table. They look that you have a, a real big perspective, a real world view on something. Um, they want what you um, what you possess. To much whom is given, much is required. They know that you have a lot to offer. And so they pull on that energy there. Um, get your chakras in alignment, okay? They want you to, somebody wants you to be the center of something because the star is the center. Okay. Um, somebody wants you to be the center. again back to they want you to be the head or the center, or they want you to be in the leadership role. And you're just like, why? Why me? Um, 
because you you're thinking so negatively about it turn that negative into a positive let's see let's leave you with a butterfly oracle card what do we have for a leo for the butterfly oracle card this was really good reading you know in terms of how to move yeah, new exercise program either you need to exercise physical movement moving your body or this is you need to let something new come into your life exercise something new in your life go in a new direction let something new develop for you okay um that's what that card really says this is what i have for you leo if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section is it that when people come into your life certain group of people or a person your money your energy decreases is it that people always want you to be the head the leader of something when you just really just want to play the back seat sometimes um is it that you need to do the work and you need to do it on a consistent level a consistent basis is it that somebody or you around you somebody is just not taking care they're not responding with the ability of uh, of all their capability they're just responding with nothing or, or not at all okay this is what i have for you go over to the website book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you many blessings to you take care